Hello everyone, my name is ABA Pickle, and welcome to my Second Extinction Preseason 6 Overview video. Today we're going to be going through all of these patch notes, for the most part, you know, just the main things. And then we're going to hop into the game, uh, and we're going to check out uh, some of the new features in-game, instead of just, you know, on paper. Uh, well, let's just start off here. Uh, they have a little, little note for us saying, Preseason 6 has landed. And this one should set off some shockwaves because it's a big one. But with plenty of new features and improvements ready for you to dig your teeth into. We hope you enjoy the update. And if you find any bugs, please report them directly to support here. If you have any questions or feedback to share, join our Discord server. The best place to get in touch with the team and become part of the community. Alright, so we got some big features here. We got a new hero. Her name is Su Sunet. How do you how do you pronounce that? Just so I don't sound wrong. I'm just gonna go off what Google has to say. Uh let's see here. Pronunciation. I'm gonna guess it's Sunetra. Sunitra, maybe? Sunitra. Sunitra. So Sunitra. As our new character, she is a scientist. She's an operator, much like uh a mirror, so as you know, she will probably be a wet napkin. Um, this is the part that I'm most excited for. Horde mode. Start with nothing but a pistol and conquer wave after wave of increasingly difficult dinos. Get your practice in now because horde mode leaderboards are on the way soon with their own special awards. Horde mode is a thing I've been looking forward to because those things look... Like, I love horde modes in games. Uh, I always love Left 4 Dead. I always loved uh, Gears of War's horde mode. I love every single horde mode I can get. It's survival is like, it's just my thing. I love it. So let's see here. Auto turret will, with multiple ammo options is now available in horde mode. Uh, I guess we'll get an auto turret option. Uh, Richard, we have a new handler and mission giver whose voice you'll get met with in horde mode. Okay, so we won't have Sarah with us. Uh, full crossplay added between Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and PC via Steam, the Microsoft Store, and the Epic Game Store, which is exciting. Uh, I will be streaming here probably in the next week or so. Um, if you want updates on that, go to my go to link in the description below to uh, join my Discord server to get updates on when I'll go live uh, there. And it will be on my YouTube channel. I do not stream to Twitch. All right. A new thing they have is Augments, uh, unique drops from enemies that give your character special new abilities. You can only equip a limited number of Augments, forcing you to choose how to customize your build. So I really wonder how these are going to work. Uh, I have not launched the game yet here today, uh, and I haven't really messed around with it. Alright, so they have a new seasonal contract, uh, Wardrobe, where it's now you can preview everything in the game and get information on how to unlock it. That'd be nice. Uh, In-game voice chat on all platforms. Fantastic, it definitely needed that. Uh, matchmaking lobbies, Apex friends, and new session ID for matchmaking UI. Probably for the crossplay stuff. And Brazilian and Portuguese language support. Good for them. Alright, so character adjustments and tweaks. Uh, so Rosie's positive reinforcement, I feel like this got nerfed. Uh... All character ability recharge rates have been rebalanced, making some less spammable during intense combat. Rosie's pause as a reinforcement now also restored uh, health at a more suitable rate. So they probably increased the rate you heal, but less often. Uh, changed self revive mechanics for downed players, making it more likely to get up when fewer and weaker enemies are attacking you. That's good. We give our heroes some hand sanitizer so it should no longer get stuck on the player's hands. So items. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Uh, Jack's special ability will now trigger in basic training. I do not know that special ability was not. I didn't really play the basic training. Uh, an issue where users were invulnerable to damage after leaving the session and rejoining has been fixed. Okay. Uh, consoles fix issue where a player wasn't able to complete the contact mission. I had an issue with that. The lightning rod contract can now, will, or now count electric raptors correctly. 
Resourceful contract. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. So let's see here. Um, I think that's mainly everything. Um, all right. Fixing issue where weapon models could become low poly. That's probably with the artillery cannon. Uh, if we remember with certain skins, they became Turok 2 weapons. So, all right. All right. Everything else is just like minor little fixes. Um, all right. So let's just launch the game here and hop right into it. All right. So let's see. First things first, we're going to go look at our heroes. We're going to go look at Sunitra here. Outfit. Got a couple outfits. Oh, we're gonna go with stock because I like red. Uh, let's see here. So, cosmetic uh, packages and then five and four star reward packages. All right. So it does give you a description of how to unlock these now, which is good. Um, that'll be real nice. So let's see here. Equipment. Did they add anything new? They added. Uh, Oh, I don't think they did, actually. No, they did not. All right. This is just something for the Digital Deluxe. Uh, I don't know how to get that personally. I mean, I hit X and nothing happens, so. All right, so um, let's see here. So these right here, augments. You can only quote. I few of these at the same time, but you have to kill dinosaurs to acquire them. Okay, so these seems to be 25% uh, resistance to neurotoxin damage. When sustained multiple attacks and short succession trigger, six meter radial blast dealing mild burn damage. Mmm. Nice. Just a 5% max to, to health. And crit health. Each kill boosts all damage resistance by 40% in three seconds. Yeah, so these these seem pretty good. Is there one for damage? Um, restores 1% of max health per critical hit. Ooh. Ooh, I can already tell that's going to be meta. Deflection applies a 6% chance for attack to be deflected and nullify their damage. So I feel like live stream, deflection... And maybe vitality or um, maybe one of these crowd control bursts. Like the wrath burst seems like more damage. So either the wrath burst or the crowd control burst. I feel like I don't know how many you can equip at the same time, but um, you have to. Uh, oh, excuse me. Let's see how long it takes to unlock those. But let's just hop into a free room real quick. Just gonna hop in on normal. We just wanna see what. See here. Sinitra. And her abilities and what they do. Okay, so let's see here. Ah, that's nice. They have like actual bars now, which should be really nice uh, for stuff. So. She can equip the carbine rifle, grenade launcher, and scout rifle, just like a mirror. So we're gonna put on that carbine rifle, and then we will bring the revolver, equipment, ammo kits, equipment drop, and health stim. I don't have any augments, so let's hop in here. We will see how much health this lady has. I'm guessing it's gonna be only three, uh, three bars, probably just like a mirror. But maybe four. Who knows if we're lucky. Nope, it's three. Okay. Alright, so let's get down there. Let's see what her abilities do. Alright, so let's see here. I believe that I know what the abilities do. So let's see here. Alright, so I believe if I hit Q... Creates a weak spot. Okay. So it creates a little weak spot, I believe. If, uh, I remember properly. Um, don't think there's a way for me to just kind of look at it. 
I think I, I should have looked at it at the loadout beforehand, but I didn't. So, um, I know the other one is like a pheromone thing, so like it gets other enemies to attack, I believe. So let's go and find another pack of raptors or something and uh, see how it works. Let's see here. Um, all right. All right, cool. So this... Yes. The pheromone should work here. It tracks them, and what does it do? All right, it didn't seem to do much. But I might be wrong, so I might have to test that out again. Oh boy. Okay, so she has the same thing that Amir has right now, where she can kind of see um, uh, danger before it actually hits, which is really helpful. Operators, I feel like, need that guaranteed because uh, they are wet napkins. You know, a stiff breeze will knock them down. Um, Alright, let's see, let's get another one of those equipment things as well. Let's see here. So I need to, um, find more dinos. Because I gotta get that, uh, pheromone ability up again. Um, from what I've been seeing, Sunitra seems like, uh, wait, is it? Yeah, that's probably right. Sunitra. Um, seems like she could be really fun but uh definitely one of those things you you want a group in okay so because if i throw that pheromone here Live stream. Oh. Okay. I guess I just found live stream. Uh well. That's cool. So they just kinda randomly drop and they look golden like that. Okay. So uh that'll be interesting trying to grind for all of those now. I guess I have an, a new objective in this game, which is fantastic. Um so it's so I think the pheromone is just supposed to overall, I th think it's supposed to be for bigger dinos, but well, the, to uh, check that. Oh my god! Now I got what? Crash? You guys see that? Oh my god! That. Okay. Oh. All right. Sunitra might become one of my new mains, depending on. Okay, so it beeps at you right before you're about to get hit. Oh boy. Was that a narc? Okay, so let's just heal up real fast. Okay, let's just throw that at you. It's, oh my god. No, it straight up just causes them to start getting mad at each other. Like, they just said a yo mama joke at him. But, like, that wasn't, like, a, a simple, like... Like, oh no, oh no, he, he hurt me, mommy. It was a straight up, like... Straight up just murked him. That's crazy. Her, she right now has an insane kit. That pheromone is super strong. I'm guessing you use it on bigger dinos. Uh, 
and then you use like the target on other big downs. The, her kit is a DPS operator that doesn't suck. I mean, I like Amir, don't get me wrong. He, his uh, awareness that you can get off of him is phenomenal. Plus, the orbital laser is really fun to use. But I feel like she's just going to have a lot more survivability. Uh, just in the long run, just by how much damage she can deal out. Because, you know, you don't really have to defend yourself if they're dead. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I think I just shot it straight in the face. Yeah, that's probably what ended up happening. But still. Uh, let's see here. So, she makes a weak point for one, and then she has the pheromone for the other. Um, which will be phenomenal for big, big creatures. Like, for example, these annoying uh, alphas. Oh. And then are you just gonna attack? You attack them, which put makes me virtually invisible. You can see my outline right there. All right, got a defect. So basically, like, yeah, she just makes a weak point that absolutely just murks. Dinosaurs. Okay. That's amazing. I absolutely love uh, this character. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying her as well. Uh, but I think we're going to uh, just kind of hop out of here. And uh, check out that horde mode. That I bet a bunch of you guys are waiting for me to cover. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second when I'm dropping down. Hey everyone, my name is Xavier Pickle. Thank you guys so much for watching my part one of this pre-season six overview. The second video will be coming up here soon. Uh, it's just I didn't want to make too long of a video. So the horde mode review will be in the next video. Um, so just sit back and be ready for it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.